Greetings from the sports day. So the pool stage of the Rugby World Cup is wrapping up and the Springboks have a do or die encounter against Tonga tomorrow in their final Pool B clash. South Africa have already registered wins against Scotland as well as Romania but fell short against number one ranked Ireland. The box have to clinch a bonus point win tomorrow against Tonga if they are to reach the quarters. Now joining us to talk more about this is former Stormers Lock Anton Fancel. A very good morning to you Anton. Thank you so much for your time. So Tonga coming up, what can we expect? And also, how would you rate the Springboks' performances so far in the World Cup? Good morning, Nandi. Um, I think from, from the Tongans, we're going to expect a level of physicality and intensity similar to what we saw against the Irish. Um, you know, they've, they've, they've arrived with a point to prove. The Tongans have a couple of, with the new IRB regulations, they've got two former All Blacks and one former Wallaby. Um, in their in their starting lineup, Adam Coleman, Charles Pieta, and Feleki Makatai, uh, and they're going to be bringing an enormous amount of physicality ag against the Springboks. I don't think for a minute that the Springboks will will take this game lightly. We know that we need to go into the quarterfinal stages um, with significant momentum, and obviously the loss against against Ireland would have would have raised a few questions of concern about about our levels of of form. Um, so, and I mean, if we look at the at the Springbok lineup that the coaches have put out, that is an incredibly strong team. Um, I always look like to look at the loose trio. The fact that we've picked both Dwayne Vermeulen and Jasper Visa alongside Captain Sia Kulisi mm. means that we're bracing for an incredibly physically intense battle against the Tongans. We've also seen the addition of uh, Andre Pollard, which is very much welcome considering our kicking problems. Will he be possibly the main difference in this match? Um, I, I think it's quite difficult to say that. I mean, you know, frankly, for me, I know there's been a lot of written and said about, uh, about our, our kicking troubles. And frankly, a, against the Irish, while, while our kickers did miss one or two um, attempts at, at the posts, I thought where we really lost the game was it the breakdown? The the Irish loose trios completely out, outclassed us there as a as a as a combination, and um, you know that, that's something that we need to get ready for if we're going to play them again, possibly in the in the Rugby World Cup final. I think what's what past World Cups have shown is that you need a squad more than a starting fifteen to win the cup, and I think Andre could play an incredibly important role in that. <clears throat> I beg your pardon. In in that squad alongside. Marnie, whether it's starting, whether it's in a different position in the back line, or whether it's on the bench. You mentioned Marnie, and I actually want to talk about him a little bit. A lot of criticism has been directed at him, particularly when it comes to the kicking. Now, after what you've seen, he is starting uh, off the bench uh, on Sunday. Is there still a place for him should we get to the knockout stages? I think without a doubt. Um, I, you know, Marnie has managed to unlock the attacking capabilities of our backline and frankly of the whole Springbok team to an extent that we haven't seen before. I mean, a large, you know, we, we, we're seeing Ches and Colby, we're seeing Kane and Moody, we're seeing Makazolo Mapimpi play in ways that we've never seen them played before. And it's largely because of Marnie's ability to take the ball to the line and to distribute from there. Andre is in his own way, he's one of the best fly halves in the world, but him and Marnie are two very different fly halves. So, Finding a role, I think what we might see on Saturday is potentially either Marnie coming on to replace Andre or Andre shifting into a different role for maybe the last 20 minutes, maybe at inside centre once Andre Esterhazen has done some significant damage. And I think what, what the coaches and the selectors will be looking for is some is some synergy from a, from a combination perspective. And how does it best suit the team um, in, 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 in giving us the most variety mm. and, and efficiency uh, going into the knockouts. And Jacques Nienhaber, Anton, uh, said earlier this week that Tonga should by no means be taken lightly. What kind of game are they going to bring to the Springboks? They're going to bring physical intensity. They're going to try and direct, play direct running rugby against us. They're going to try and get over the game line just through sheer physical presence and force. I mean, I think we can see uh, Jacques selected two incredibly imposing um, centers on a Springbok side in, in Esther Hazen and, and, and Moody. And that's going to be largely to, to hopefully neutralize the threats po po um, uh, placed by the likes of, 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 of Malachi Fikitar and 
and um, Charles Piertal. But you know, they're going to challenge us on first and second phase uh, by keeping the ball in hand and, and working really hard to get across the bat, uh, across the gain line. If they can then use that to generate quick ball, it might well have our rush defence under pressure. And also, I want to talk to you a little bit about that match against Ireland. A lot of talk and a lot was said about that 7-1 bench split. Firstly, it didn't really work out because we did lose to Ireland, but I want to get your thoughts on that decision for that 7-1 bench split. And then also you touched on this a little bit, but let's go in depth about what you really think about this squad that's going to play Tonga tomorrow. So, okay, so firstly, on, on, on the 7-1 bench splits, I mean, that, that's not a decision... That was taken lightly, and and I I spoke earlier about about the importance of having, a, you know, a, a rugby World Cup is won by a squad, and not by a starting fifteen. And I think we we saw in 2019, we've seen in World Cups gone, gone by. You, you need an enormous amount of depth in the squad, and to have that depth in a in a limited squad size, as the rules of rugby World Cup require, you've got to have players who're comfortable in more than one position. And we're really fortunate, and what Rassi and Jacques and the coaching staff have been building to for a long time, is to have players who can cover more than one position. So for me, seven, a 7-1 seven split is really it's saying two things. It's saying, one, we've got players who are comfortable and who can execute in more than one position. And then you've got a freak of nature like Kwaka Smith who can play six. But we're also saying we know that, that what makes South African rugby so strong is our pack of forwards. So why would we not play to that strength and make sure that we can have one pack of forwards for the first 45 to 50 minutes and then effectively almost another whole pack mm. to close out the game? There are really not many, um, not, not, not many teams in the world who, who have that luxury and it's something that, that I'm very happy that we play to. It is risky, though. It is risky. If we get a, a major injury in the back line in the first 10 minutes, we are under pressure. But, you know, as, as with all kinds of sport, you know, you need to prepare incredibly hard and then you need to mix it with a little bit of luck. Um, and, and, the coaches of, uh, and, 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 and the coaches are pretty good at preparing for as many eventualities as possible. A little bit of I, luck I with, and some big tactics. Bench, exactly. Mm. Exactly. And then I think for, for the, with the bench for... Uh, for the Tonga game, I think we 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 playing what's in front of us. Okay. okay we know that the physical matchup is 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 going to be intense initially, but it may not last for the full eighty minutes. So it's important that we give other people in the squad a chance. Um, we've picked a a, 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 a loose trio that's that's going to need to be subbed out in terms of the combination between Jasper and Dwayne. And we also, you know, it's important that Andre is getting a start and that we get Marnie onto the field as quickly as possible. So, to be honest, I mean, I'm, I'm glad it's not my job to pick the team <laughs> because I think it's an incredibly difficult job. But I think the coaches have done an outstanding um, piece of work here in making sure we've got the best chance of, of, of winning the game against Tonga and securing All right. our... Uh, I'll run into the knockouts. All right, Anton, I'm going to leave things there for now. Thank you so much for unpacking matters for us. Thank that you, was Nancy. for Ms. Thomas Log, Anton van Sale, as we look ahead to the Springbok Trench Clash against Tonga tomorrow. I'm going to leave things there for the moment and hand it over to you. Mm, I'll leave you alone about my team and uh -huh. your team, etc. And just leave it with the, the box. We're talking about rugby, <laughs> Masiho. We're not talking about Mamrodi Sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it there. My money, of course, always on the Springboks. Yes, and yes. behind Mani Lebok, though I'm not mad at Hunter. Andre Pollard mm. coming to save us. No, absolutely. Yeah, we definitely need Andre. Him, especially after those uh, penalties we missed last mm. week. Mm -mm. The conversion rate wasn't very good, but I think Mani Lebok is on the bench now, so hopefully in the next coming up matches, he will still be featured in some way or form for the Springboks. He's also really good just on the field. He scores tries. So, mm. yeah, a lot. he still has a lot in him. Mm. We need this one. Go Boko. We this need this one. A must-win encounter. Listen, yes, yes, this is already the luck that we need. Perfect. <laughs>